Hey, my friends, it's Big Stew here, and thanks again for joining me for Big Stew's Mystery Boxes. Today, we are going to be doing something I'm excited about, Star Wars, Star Wars 40th Anniversary. I can't believe it's been 40 years. Man, I feel old. And well, I am old. I'm 49 years old, so I guess I am a little old. But anyway, so that means I was like nine years old when Star Wars first came out. But let me show you my shirt. This is uh, Goonies Never Say Die and Pirate Shirt. So it's pretty cool. And it's very soft and very light. So I like it very much. So let me adjust my camera here. I, I felt like my camera was slipping down on me. Anyways, this box is really big. This is a Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. Smuggler's Bounty uh, Funko Star Wars theme box. Now, let me get this box here. This box is very, very big. And I don't have, I thought maybe I had one of my other Star Wars boxes, like last month's Star Wars box. But this is just, it's huge. It is a very huge box, has Princess Leia on it, has Smuggler's Bounty box. So this is huge. One thing I know that's huge in here, because we get a very, very big, big uh, pop figure in here. Uh, a figure and a vehicle. So, very excited about this. So, let's open this up and see what we got. <clears throat> got my Joker cup. <laughs> Almost becoming a thing, pointing out my Joker cup, I guess. Okay. Let's. Okay, let's move this off to the side here. Okay, first thing we got is our patch. Looks like Luke Skywalker. Very cool. Okay, 40th anniversary. It says on there. Then we got a pen. And this is... Chewbacca. Let's see if you can see that. Star Wars Chewbacca. Okay. Okay, let's save the last thing, the big thing for last. Okay. This is cool. Oh, okay. We got a Han Solo and a Guido salt pepper shakers. We got a Batman and Robin one uh, in one of the boxes before in our legacy box, our DC's legacy box, an old style Batman and Robin. It might have been even the Adam West and Burt Ward Robin. But this is pretty cool Han Solo and Guido. I like this very much. Very heavy. But this is pretty cool. So let's lay this down. I'm sorry, I'll lay it on this side. And what? Okay. Sweatbands. Star Wars sweatbands. I have no idea why we got Star Wars sweatbands. Maybe 40 years ago, sweatbands were in. People were wearing them everywhere. I don't remember that. I was nine. <laughs> but anyways, but Star Wars sweatbands. Don't really need these. Probably will trade these and everything. But anyways, nah, I don't know. So there's no t-shirt, nothing else in here. So we got one, two, three, four, five items, including this one. This is the big one. This is what makes it worth it regardless of what we get. Because this is worth more than what it would cost to buy the box. We got Luke Skywalker in the land speeder. Now let me move this box away. The big box. Out of the way. So throw it on the floor here. Okay. So we got Luke's Luke Skywalker, young Luke Skywalker in the land speeder. Very cool. And it has like a base of desert that it rides on. And it's probably hard for you to see. 
Uh, trying to hold it up. There's a back picture of the art of it. So this is very cool. This thing is worth probably $40 by itself. It's probably going to go for more than this. But I think last I saw, somebody had this for $40. And it's probably going to go more. Star Wars, one thing about Star Wars boxes, they either give you two pops in a lot of the boxes. Or they give you big, huge, uh, what we call pop rides. And they kind of call this the pop rides. Just because it's a character riding in something and we got a we got one just two two boxes ago last one was rebels they gave us two pop figures and then the box before that was empire strikes back and that had han solo riding a, a tom tom and that was a huge box too i'm looking at it, it's off in the distance you can't see it up high on my wall but uh, very cool i'm very actually i like the there's a lot of uh you can't see it, but there's uh, a lot of detail on the top, on the hood of the land speeder. So very cool. The art, you can maybe see some of it on the art there. But I'm very, very happy with this. I wish I'd gotten a t-shirt. That had been kind of cool. A pop 40th anniversary Star Wars of the poster or something. Uh, the original movie poster would have been cool. This is a little cheesy, but I guess they had to put something that is wearable because they always put something wearable in. And they've done a hat already with, I think, C-3PO. I did not get that box, but um, they did that. That was Jabba's Palace, I believe, um, that a hat came in there. So this is the only thing I consider cheesy of the whole box. But I think this is very cool. I would love to see a double pop where they're in the cantina sitting down and they're shooting. Han is shooting at Greedo. And Greedo has like a burnt mark on his chest where Han Solo shot him first. That would be really cool if they could do a scene like that, a double pop. That would be neat. Uh, but this is pretty cool. I like this. And I don't mind having these. I probably will never use them. But I will definitely display them because I think they're very, very cool. But by far, this is the cool thing for the anniversary box. And of course the patches. So one, two, three, four, five things in this box. Thirty-one dollars, but this thing is going for forty or more. So it's well worth it. And all this other stuff is just bonus and everything. So I'm very happy with it. Again, I wish I'd gotten a shirt, but don't always get shirts, and I understand that. So out of ten, I'm gonna give this box probably uh no shirt. I'll give it an eight, just because it didn't have a shirt. And but I'm very happy with it. So don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. Don't want to be too greedy like a greedo, but a um, little bit of pun there. But but I don't want to, you know, it's still not the perfect box because the perfect box would be getting a shirt, getting everything I would want in that box. But again, I think the value of the Funko Star Wars DC and Marvel boxes for $31 is worth it. Very rarely am I ever disappointed in their boxes there's always stuff that i can get in those boxes that i enjoy feel like i can add to my collection i don't feel like i turn around and trade loot crate and geek fuel a little bit hit or miss because it's a variety of themes i'm um, going in but the star wars of course the marvel and dc you know they're very specific themes i already know what i'm getting going into those so i'm very happy with this let's see upcoming we have coming out Let's see. Coming up in in June, we have uh, Spider-Man Homecoming boxes upcoming. And before that box, I believe we will be getting our Loot Crate DX. My son and I, we went together for Loot Crate DX. There are supposed to be some Guardians of the Galaxy 2 figures in that. And my last video, we talked about um, when in the regular Loot Crate, they talk about a figure they're usually talking about Q figs, but in the DX boxes, when they talk about figures, they're usually talking about big action figures. So I don't think they've ever put a Q fig, you know, in a DX box before. I mean, it'd be cool if they would put like a larger one or something. Um, that'd be neat. Um, but but they want, that's not what, you know, I believe it's just going to be an action figure of some sort to Guardians of the Galaxy action figures.
I'm hoping one will at least be Rocket Raccoon, Rocket Raccoon, Rocket Raccoon. But we'll see. Um, it is also a Guardians theme, and it had some different things in that too. Some of the same similar themes that we were in last last week's video. Um, so that should be our next box. I'm hopeful. I wasn't too excited or thrilled. My son had ordered the DX last month, and he kept some of the stuff, but he wasn't super thrilled with everything all the way across the board. Um, but we're hoping that this box is going to be something that we're both going to like a lot. And I, I kind of was more aggressive urging to split the box than he was. So he's taking the risk. I'm taking the risk. So hopefully we'll each get $20 worth of stuff that we like out of the box because that box is more like a $40 box, the DX box is. Um, so I think that's going to be our next video is the DX box. Then I have Spider-Man Homecoming. And and also then I'll either haven't decided I'm either going to get next month's Geek Fuel or I'm going to get next month's Loot Crate. I'm trying to just do one uh, month of those and rotate back and forth. It just depends what the themes are and what I kind of figure what's going to be in them. Uh, I'm trying not to do both in the same month. I'm trying to been cut back a little bit. Um, oh, well, actually, maybe I am going to... I am going tomorrow to actually to MegaCon. So I'm going to MegaCon tomorrow. So maybe I'll do my next video probably will be about MegaCon, about the stuff I'm getting from MegaCon. So I'm very excited about MegaCon. Um, there's a few pops I want. I'm mostly looking forward to uh, custom Lego figures, minifigures, either the official Lego ones or, you know, the uh, knockoffs or whatever. But I care about certain um, superhero figures that Lego has not officially made yet. So that's what I'm primarily going for. Um, still always looking for a Stanley Pop or Stanley Dorb that I can afford. Last time I went there, like $30, $40. I just didn't want to spend that kind of money for a Stanley Pop um, at that time. So hopefully I, I will be able to find one a little bit cheaper. Um, there's not too many other Pops that I want out there. And I think last year I got myself the uh, uh, the um, Anthony and Ant-Man pop. Ant-Man on the big ant pop. And that was the big thing I got last year. And then I got a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, Lego custom figures. A whole bunch of X-Men and Red Hulk and a She-Hulk. Which now they have in a new set that has an official She-Hulk in it. But then they didn't have one. And a bunch of different characters. Primarily X-Men characters, a lot of superheroes, got um, Falcon as the new Captain America figure, custom figure and all. So there's a handful of things I'm looking for. So hopefully it's going to be good. And I'm also there's some art I'm interested in um, to go to tomorrow too, pick up tomorrow. So, so probably then my next video will be about MegaCon next week, about the things I got from MegaCon. So just want to let you know about what's upcoming. And, oh, the, the next two DC box, the next DC box and the next uh, um, Star Wars box themes, which will ship in July. Um, so it's a little ahead of us. But the next Star Wars is going to be themed droids. So I don't know what we're getting yet in that. I, mean, I imagine it's going to be something C-3PO, something R2-D2. Those are the most you know famous droids out of Star Wars. So, but the theme for Star Wars, the next box that ships in two months is droids. The next um, DC box that ships in two months is going to be Batman the Animated Series. So, I'm really stoked about that. I think that's really going to be a cool thing. And by some pictures, some vague things that they've shown, I think we're getting a Penguin pop figure in that style. But I'm not sure else we're getting. I want a Batman Animated pop style t-shirt hopefully will be in that in that box too i'll be very happy if i get one of those in that box and then of course um in a few weeks or about three weeks shipping maybe two three weeks shipping i should be getting the spider-man homecoming based off that movie and i have no idea what's coming in that box at all um as far as villains some rumors are we might get a shocker pop figure exclusive to that box so we'll wait and find out and see if we do um, also, before I mention it, I did hide little Stewie. Um, he's back here somewhere behind me too again. I'm in the middle of, uh, hopefully by my next video, um, you'll see a little bit of change back here. I'm in the middle of uh, 
getting ready to start my uh, back cave I'm gonna work on behind me and rearrange that a little bit and uh, actually change it a lot so right now above it I've just been using it as storage of different pops and different things that I haven't put away yet so um, I'm anxious to get started with that so once Maycon's over I'll probably start working on my uh, back cave so again thanks my friends for checking me out these videos I hope um, they're helpful to you and expose you to subscription boxes which to me is like Christmas coming you know two sometimes three times a month it's like Christmas every month and all so anyway so again big stew out thanks a lot my friends and I will catch you later till next video bye